What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're going to go over uh, how to establish bracket orders on Street Smart's Edge. Check it out. All right, guys, so let's jump into this video here. What we're going to do today is we're going to go over how to establish or place bracket orders on Street Smart's Edge, right? So Street Smart's Edge is the uh, active trader platform for uh, Charles Schwab, all right? And I've been over this platform a few times. It's what I use. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a good platform in the sense that I really like the tools. I really like the charts, okay? I like that the fib levels are complete. Um, I like its its execution. The executions on Charles Schwab via this platform are not bad at all. They're really good uh, compared to at least so far my experience compared to E Trade. Maybe we'll do a video around that. And uh, what the only problem I've ever had with Charles Schwab is just these uh, all in one all in one tools are extremely. Uh, they're extremely clunky. They're extremely um, old-fashioned, I want to say. But nonetheless, uh, we have the the you know the, the system here that we have to work with. So now, let's say you were in in uh, Tesla here from from eight twelve, okay, and you want to go ahead and, and establish a bracket order system. That's what we're going to go over here, and it's very simple, very straightforward. Before we move further, do me a quick favor: smash the like button for me. It really helps the channel out tremendously because shows activity, it shows you guys are watching, and that feeds the YouTube algorithm and it makes the channel, you know, a little bit more successful. And once we reach ten thousand subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway where I'm going to give one of my subscribers a fully funded trading account for free. Okay, so I need your help in order to get there to ten thousand k, you know, ten ten k subs. So I need you to smash the like button, comment in the comment section below, and subscribe to the channel. Now, with the bracket orders, what you do is you come here. This is your all-in-one trading tool. And you put, let's say you already have a profit target in mind. This is a little bit of a gap fill. So if you were in from 812, you might be wanting to get out flat at 815. So you would put here $815. And let's say you were in at 812, so your stop might have been, uh, let's just say 810. And let's say you wanted a trailing stop. Now you wanted this trailing stop to be uh, anytime it moved back a dollar, a point. Okay, let's just say that, right? So now what will happen is you're in from eight to what is it? I said eight twelve, whatever. Let's say you're in from eight twelve. Now as soon as it gets to eight fifteen, it's going to close you out. That's it. You're going to sell your order right there. In this case, it would have been sold. If it would have, if you would have gotten in at 812 and it pulled back to 811, it would have stopped you out uh, because of the trailing stop. Okay. Now, if you wouldn't have had that, then boom, 810. Okay. Now, in this case, let's say it just pushed to 813. Uh, if it would have pulled back, if you would have had your trailing stop and it would have pulled back to 812, it should have stopped you out. If I'm not mistaken. Now, that's the way you set up the the. Uh, bracket orders with this it's very simple and it's it's it helps you out tremendously because it's very peace of mind uh it gives you some peace of mind as a trader i don't really use them but it gives you some peace of mind as a trader i use them more when i trade futures uh because you're in your position now you don't have to worry about getting greedy okay because your profit target is already set and your stop loss is already set so you could literally come in here okay set this up with a profit target a stop loss you know, you're in your position and you can literally just get your hand off your mouse, sit back and have a sip of water and just watch the chart and let it unfold without having your mouth, your hand on your mouse, right? Hovering over the buy or the sell button and then getting nervous and mistakenly clicking. I don't know if you heard that, but that was the mouse click, mistakenly clicking. That right there could, you know, cause you to have an issue with your trade. It could cause you to jump into a trade when you didn't want to and it cause you to exit a trade when you didn't want to. So... In essence, having this uh, really gives you a lot of peace of mind. And trading is extremely difficult as it is, and it's on our emotions. So having that extra peace of mind that you know you already have your predetermined orders set and live really goes a long way. It really goes a long way towards having you relax and let the chart. If you're trading a chart pattern, letting you have the chart work itself out. Work itself out. You don't have to. Be there like watching and like looking at everything and about to click because your orders, your plan, in other words, is preset. 
a lot of times we'll stop out of a position and we really didn't have to stop out of it. It was just our emotions getting us to stop out. Now, by putting this in the system, you know, this bracket order, you've basically taken your emotions out of the equation if you just let your plan work itself out. You know you're in at 8.12, you know your stops at 8.10, and you know your targets at 8.15, right? Boom. So that's what you set, and you put it in motion. Now, you could do the same thing, you know, if you were going to short. It's the same thing. So these bracket orders are extremely helpful. Like right here, look, this could have shaken anybody out. We tapped 8.16, and it came right back all the way down to 8.11, like 8.11 and change. That could have shaken you out, but now look at it bouncing right off of 8.11, this 90 MA. That's why, you know, setting this up in that way takes the emotions out of the trade and lets your plan, the actual plan that you've chosen to put in into motion on the trade, work itself out. Like I say, right? Work itself out once again. And I don't know. I think it's really useful. Now, I don't really use bracket orders when I'm trading stocks. Maybe it's something that I'll practice in the future a little bit more just to see how it feels. But I do use it a lot more when I'm trading futures. And I love it because on the futures that I trade, you know, on the platform I use, I use the uh, like the chart trading. So I'll set up my my bracket order, and then I can actually like the order populates on the chart itself, and I can literally click on the chart and move it around. That I don't think is an option on on Street Smart Edge. Maybe something I'll look into, but I don't think it's an option. Uh, I could be wrong. If I am, let me know. Drop it in the comment section below. But however, the bracket orders are extremely simple, as you saw. All you got to do is, you know, you're in here. Normally, you would just buy and sell right in here, right? Here's your quantity. All you got to do is click this little tab right here. Boom. And there they are. They populate. And you can basically do what you're going to do. Like, and you can hold it. You can do it as well for, for options. So right here, you just, you're on the options tab, calls and puts. You click this. Boom right there right there it's there all you got to do now is enter your your um your targets 15 bucks you know let's say let's say you're in here at 13 and your target's 15 bucks boom and that's it you can put your stop loss now this is something that's a little bit harder to do right on 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 these uh, options because time decay and stuff like that so i generally don't use a stop loss uh on them like a hard stop because I watch the chart and I trade the chart pattern as if I was trading the the stock itself. So I'd exit based off of the chart, not based off of the price of the option contract itself. So that gets a little trickier. However, you can still you know put out your profit target with a trading stop. Okay, if you're in at ten, you can put you know a dollar, and if these things now drop from 13, 15 to 12, 15, they'll stop you off, for example. So that's pretty much how that works. And it's very, very simple. Now, I know some people don't like to use them. Like I said, I personally don't use them much on the stocks themselves. But as you can see, by just watching and seeing how they work, it's an extremely good tool to use, right? It's an extremely good tool to use because it basically uh, automates the trade for you. All you have to worry about, in essence, is formulating a plan and entering or opening your position. Once you've opened that position, you can basically automate the rest of it. You can set a trailing stop and a trailing stop, you know, as the stock moves up, if it drops down below a certain level, it'll stop you out and it'll be stopping you out with profit because it's a trailing stop, okay? Uh, you can set up your stop loss. Like basically this is, like think about it as like almost like an AI. This thing is just doing the trading for you after you've opened your position. All you had to worry about was opening the position itself and then just sitting back and letting that work itself out. Now, I'm not saying just, you know, go about your day and ignore it. I don't trust generally, you know, computers that much. So I'd literally sit here and watch it on, unfold. I'd watch it unfold, especially if it's a day trade. And if I see something funny or if like it skips me for some reason, there was a technical issue, then I got to be able to cancel, you know, I got to be able to click the cancel button and manually exit the position, manually manage the position. But uh, I've never really had that issue happen, at least on the futures side, when I trade futures uh, at Optimus. Here on, on Street Smart Edge, you can't trade futures on this, on Street Smart Edge. You have to trade it on uh, another platform that Charles Schwab has. I forgot the name of it, and it's a web portal platform. So that's it, guys. That's how you, it's very simple. That's how you, uh, 
exercise a or or open a bracket uh, position or a bracket trading setup here. That's it. It's very simple, guys, and it's an extremely useful tool. Let me know what other tool you want me to review, and I'll definitely go over that. Remember to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you're alerted next time I upload a video, and I'll catch you on the next one.